Hello. This is the picture of a man that you most likely owe your life to. If you or one of your parents or grandparents have ever been saved by antibiotics, then you owe your life to this man, Ernst Chain, who developed penicillin and is a pioneer of modern antibiotics. Alexander Fleming, this guy, is credited for discovering antibiotics or penicillin nine years earlier. And so for nine years, he sat on his duff, allowed hundreds of millions of people to die worldwide, and basically it took a Jew to come in and develop it medically and therapeutically so it can be used. And uh, Chain shared the Nobel Prize with Fleming and some other guy uh, who all got credit for it. But that's this is the man, Sir Ernst Boris Chain, who escaped Nazi Germany because he saw the handwriting was on the wall and he got out of there, unlike uh, other people who couldn't get out or didn't believe what was going on. And if you don't owe your life to Ernst Chain, a Jew, then you owe your life to Joseph in the Bible. The story of the famine is true, and the famine was global. And most people in the world today would not be alive if it were not for Joseph. Just to remind you, he is the 12th son of Jacob, who uh, uh, was sold off to slavery by his brothers, and uh, he was uh, put in prison for being falsely accused of raping the wife of his master, and while in prison he interpreted the dreams of the cupbearer, uh, which was reported to the pharaoh, who had a dream about <clears throat> the seven fat cows eating the seven skinny cows. And that dream led to Egypt storing food for seven years in which the whole world purchased food. The Shang dynasty uh, records the famine. <clears throat> and so it's recorded 3,500 years B.C., or I'm sorry, 1,500 years B.C. in the Shang dynasty. It's also uh, uh, evidenced uh, in other places like in Egypt with this huge stone called the Famine Stone, Famine Seal. And if you look at a list of Nobel Prize laureates, you'll see that at least 22% of them are Jews, although Jews comprise less than 0.2% of the world's populations. And this is overall in uh, uh, Jews have won a total of 41% of all the Nobel Prizes in economics, 28% in medicine, 26% in physics, 19% in chemistry. And so if you think about the physics, the chemistry, and the econ e economics, your life medically, economically, has improved by Jews. And this is, you know, by Nobel Prize laureate winners. <clears throat> and if you go to the Bible, um, you'll see that anyone who's saved, it says here on the book of John, ye worship, ye not know what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. So not only do you owe your very life, you owe your very possible future life, your future existence in heaven with God you owe to Jews, not just your physical life and prosperity and innovation that has happened to the world. And let's go further and dig deep in the Bible, because here is a prophetic scripture that is going to happen in the future. In Zechariah 8.23 it says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In those days... It shall come to pass that ten men shall take 
hold out of all languages of the nations, even take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, we will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Well, let me tell you, the day is coming very soon when everyone in the world will know what a real jewel is. A real jewel is a Jew. And so don't wait until that time. Take hold of a Jew now and, 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 and reach out to Israel. Defend Israel in all realms. Take hold of a Jew now for God is with the Jewish people and God is with Israel. And you should share in that blessing. If you know that this scripture is going to happen, why wait for those days when calamity is everywhere? Death and destruction and darkness are everywhere. And when you see a Jew, you know at that time coming in the future, you know that that is salvation, you know that that is light, and you know that is, that is somewhat esteemed by God, whom that you might be able to receive some benefit from. Otherwise, why would ten men grab hold of a Jew as if it was grabbing hold of a precious diamond that they had found because a Jew at that time will be a jewel as a Jew is now because you owe your very life to Jews according to the book of uh, uh, Genesis and the historical accounts art artifactually proven in the Bible and the Nobel Prize lawyers that have improved your life and, Ale and Ernst chain that has made antibiotics possible for your children, for yourself to be alive today, to even listen to this message. If you want, you can start by this channel. You can start reaching out to Jews by supporting this channel so I can remove all the advertising from all of my videos. If, if 10 donors donated $100 a month, I can remove the advertising. Won't you be one of them? Thank you. Share this video. Like it if you like it. Comment. I'd like to hear your comments. And this is not racist. We are all part of the same body. And we all have to work together. And Jerusalem, Israel is the heart of the world. And the heart is under attack. That's why the world is, is in a schism because it's going and suffering through a heart attack and the rest of the world is suffering with Israel. Do your part to support the heart. Join this channel. Thank you.